Hi, 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 and welcome, and welcome, hi. What is up, everybody? So, I got a new heater today just because um, I don't want to be out in my garage working out in the cold because I got like two pairs of gloves on. You can see, you see that it's really cold out here. Got a hood on, everything else, extra jackets. So, uh, letting the garage warm up, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm cleaning up the garage right now so I can make some room for myself but I did go ahead and get the heater working. It took me a minute to get it to work. Um, like I said, it's it's not brand new, but it was like 40 bucks on Facebook Market. So I hooked, talked to the guy last night. He said he'll have it ready for me by 10 o'clock this morning. Well, I got there at 9.30, picked it up, and uh, just got here not that long ago. So I went ahead and hooked it all up, got a brand new tank for it. And uh, it took a minute to light it, the uh, light must be going out, so I gotta replace that. But I took a lighter, and uh, where's that lighter at? So I don't lose it. It's a stick lighter, went in there, lit it, and it came on. So I'm gonna show you guys that new heater. Oh man, it is so, so nice and warm right here. <laughs> oh my lord, I love this thing. So I'm gonna show you guys what's up. So there's my new heater. Um, like I said, the little red button wasn't working, so I had to put a lighter in there to light it, and it lit. And I only got this thing set on low right now. I could go a little higher. That way we can warm it up a little bit faster. Oh yeah, buddy. So yeah, I, I like this new heater. Um, I'm gonna have to find a different spot to set it, probably like right in this area or something so nothing happens or nothing catches on fire and then of course the line is all the way down to the new tank which was like 30 bucks and all plus a 15 dollar fee to fill it up uh, so it costed me uh, 56 bucks for that and 40 bucks for that so not even close to 100 bucks for this so I'm pretty happy. I'm really stoked. I finally got a garage heater. It's not like the high performance garage heaters most people will go for. Um, I, I don't know. A lot of people might like this type of heater. I love this thing. It's awesome. And holy crap. I'm literally probably about five feet away from it and I can feel the heat already. So yeah, this thing is definitely working. So today we are going to be taking off the hood. The top is coming off. The uh, oh, I can't even think right now. The uh, intake manifold is going to be t coming off. Uh, the muffler is going to be coming off. The uh, radiator is going to be pulled out. And this mount is going to be unbolted. Take it out. See, you can see all that radiator fluid because it was pumping out of here. It was just boiling like crazy. So all this has got to come out. Um, um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to undo that brace down there and undo the brace back there, the mounts, and then just let it sit down so that way I can get to the uh, pulley and everything, pull all that stuff off so I can get to the case because I still have the case down here. I still have to get this off of here and the timing belt, gears, the shafts, whatever. I got to take all this off so this is going to be... Uh, today is going to be a perfect day to remove all of this, uh, get it all done really fast. So I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, um, I'm going to do everything off camera like I usually do so my videos ain't so long. So other than that, I'll be right back with the top off and the back manifold taken out. So this is what I have done so far. Um, it took me a while to get that to start, so once I got it to start, as you can see, I'm down to a sweater now, and it's getting really warm in here, which is a good thing. I'm happy about that. So, I know you can just take this off and this off. You don't have to take the motor out, but I'm going to because 
there's a couple of things over here that I had to replace too at the same time so I might as well just go ahead and just drop the motor and take it out and since it's going to be dropped and taken out I'm going to also uh, refurnish the uh, motor I'm gonna try to at least and get that taken care of that way I don't have no more issues with any leaks or anything else like that this is going to go to the machine shop I hope and then uh, right now I'm in the process of taking all this out and then unhooking it so that way I can go ahead and drop it and uh, go ahead and pull it out the wheel well like I usually do and then set it up somewhere over here uh, I might get a table and put it up on the table and then uh, that way I can go ahead and start taking it apart because I don't have a motor mount for uh, working on it like normal people would so and I don't have a cherry picker either so um, I'll probably take some pictures on how I do that or do a video in a little bit again when I get further into the process here so all that's coming out um, that means the tires have to come off on both sides because like I said I know you can take the uh, engine mount here off and let it drop down so you can get to the timing belt and the crank for the power steering and the alternator to pull that off so I can get that get this casing off so I can get the the uh, timing belt off so like I said I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop it and move it it will be easier actually to be honest I could just go ahead and drop it right here and move it so but other than that that's what I'm going to probably do is uh, drop the motor right here scoot it over just a little bit so I can go ahead and work on this side get it all taken care of and then just scoot it back and then jack it back up once I'm done so I might as well just do it that way too as well so this is how far I've gotten it's only I think going on one or almost two so I, I got here at 11 so but anyways I'm gonna get back to work and then I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit so I got a lot of things done today um, everything's been removed except for this I have one bolt as you can see right there it's stripped pretty bad and it's usually an eight uh, millimeter socket and it's just stripping so if anybody out there please tell me how to get this out um, because I need to finish this but um, as you can see everything else is unbolted um, I just got to take this top off and then unbolt it from here and then drop the motor down just a little bit so I can undo that pulley and take that out and then take the case off and then uh, go ahead and slip the timing belt off undo the tensioner so I can do that and then uh, go ahead and take the rest of this apart take this off this is going to go probably to the machine shop to get cleaned probably and same with the top is going to be repainted um, the bottom is going to be all sanded down repainted and also the transmission too um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and the starter and the brackets uh, go ahead and just repaint everything make it look nice and uh, same for underneath the uh, the hood uh, as you can see it's pretty damn dirty because I don't have no plastic protector wheel things over here so it's just all showing so um, axles are already taken out uh, wheel bearings I'm getting new wheel bearings so those are on its way right now uh, so I got two front ones I also got new axles coming and I also got new uh, suspensions for all around, all four. So I'm getting those too. And they're the ones where I can actually dial it down to lower the car or dial it back up any way I want it. So I'm happy with that. All that's gonna be coming in the mail here pretty soon. All brand new stuff, same with the rotor. And yeah, all the rest of the stuff I took off today. Um, it's about 6.30. So it took me forever to start that. Then it took me forever to get this side undone because the bolt and the nut that goes right 
there that holds the shock into place kept spinning. So I had no other choice but to just to cut it off and then pull that bolt and nut out and uh, I'll get a new one. I got spares anyways that I'll replace it so I don't have that issue again. So as you can see, everything everything is taken apart. Shocks are been removed. Uh, I'm gonna clean this all up. Uh, probably go ahead and take this out and clean it up or replace it. Um, I was planning on replacing all of it, even on the pet driver side, so. Uh, that's pretty much all I did today. Um, got everything. I did a lot today actually pretty fast. Um, the only thing that stopped me was that damn bolt right there. So that's fucking stripped pretty bad and I can't get it out. I've been trying different ways and I just I can't get it. So I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and see what I can find to get that out of there. And then uh, thank God I have a spare motor over here. And uh, I'll just take the top from there if I have to and the bolts and stuff from that one and then replace it over here for this one. So, I mean, it's loose. You can see it's, it's off of there. So, I mean, it's just that's really stripped and I can't get to it. So other than that, everybody, um, that's about it for today. Um, other than that, it's been a really good day for me and i love this heater this thing definitely kept my whole garage warm and it's pretty toasty in here so um i got a sweater on because i was just up underneath my car i don't want to get oil and see i got oil and everything all over me so i don't want to get my shirt all wet and dirty so um other than that i'll be back out here tomorrow in the morning and uh continue on and wait for my parts to get here so other than that everybody i hope you enjoyed the video if anybody out there knows how to get that bolt out that would be amazing so other than that peace out everybody and i will see you guys first thing early in the morning peace put it on my way i'm zombie but awake i'm bigger than your way can't wait no time is game so i just put it on my way all i need is love all i need is love 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 I need is hope, all I need is hope, 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 I need